action. The proletariat is right. The proletariat will always be right. And the revolution of the proletariat will live on forever and forever. Leon! Forever and forever! Leon, I was just reading the encyclopedia. The title? Trotsky Leon. Good. It's about me. Listen to this. In August, August 1940, on the 20th, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 a Spanish communist named Ramon Mercader smashed a mountain climber's axe in Trotsky's skull in Coyoacan, a suburb of Mexico City. Trotsky died the next day. Strange. Yes. What is the date of that encyclopedia? 2014. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. I am Trotsky. Yes. And this is our home in Coyoacan. Yes. And we have a Spanish gardener named Ramon. Mercader, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. What's the date today? August 21st, 1940. Then I'm safe! The article said it happened on the 20th, which means it would have happened yesterday. But Leon. And I would be dead today with a mountain climber's axe buried in my skull. Leon. Capitalist press never get things right. But Leon, isn't that the handle of a mountain climber's axe sticking out your skull? Why, yes, I think it is. <laughs> And you know, Ramon was in here yesterday telling me about his mountain climbing trip. And now that you mention it, I think he had a mountain climber's axe. I'm not sure if he had it when he left or not. Is Ramon coming for work today? What's happened to my phone? Leon! Preoccupied. Leon, I was just reading the encyclopedia. Is it the Britannica? Yeah, listen to this. So on August 20th, 1940, a Spanish communist named Ramon America Dare, he smashed a mountain climber's axe into Chauncey School in Coyacan, a suburb of Mexico City. Yes, Sam, yeah. I'm trying to fix this. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a, a mountain climber's axe in your school right now. Ha! I knew that. At first, I thought it was a knife pick. No! No, it's not an ice pick. I know you're not mayor about the ice pick that buries itself into your skull. That's why nobody in this house can have an ice pick, especially not a Spanish communist. But this article doesn't say anything about an ice cream tray, now does it? Well, no. Does it? No. Ah, that's my destiny. Leon. Oh, also, look at this. You know what this is? No. A skull. Well, I knew that. I bought the skull. I own the skull, so what does it make it? Trotsky's skull. skull. Some Spanish communist posing as a gardener wants to smash the skull to see it, recognize it's my own. Oh, smash it, bury something in it, I'll go this way. Oh, now go my. Then, genius. I have some very bad news for you, Leon. Mind number six. And genius. Very serious. What is serious? I have a mountain climber's axe sticking out of my head. Smash, actually. Not sticking out of it, it's just smashed in there. All right, all right. What am I going to do? You know, maybe a hat would cover the handle, like um, like one of those alpine hats with the with the point and the feather and rhinestones and green and purple, purple. you know. The encyclopedia says I die today. Uh-huh, yeah. <clears throat> say what time? Yeah. So much for the usefulness of that encyclopedia. What should I tell the cook about supper? We can tell her to forget the soup course. Ooh. Yes! That was a nice 
nice pick. A mountain climber's axe. A mountain climber's axe. Why can't you get that through your thick skull? <laughs> but this man is a gardener. Yes. Or at least he's been posing as gardener. Yes. Doesn't that make him a member of the proletariat? You know, I'd say so. Then what is he doing smashing a mountain climber's axe into my skull? I don't know. Um, have you been oppressing him? Bang! Zoom to the moon! <laughs> Maybe Ramon ran into Manuel yesterday and he said to him, Well, Mr. Trotsky had time to put daisies today. And maybe Manuel said, I don't know. X, Mr. Trotsky! <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. Smash, actually. What? <laughs> <laughs> 